with multiple courses over the years. Uh, when I say multiple, I mean three courses. And all of these courses have made a significant amount of money. I came out with these courses after I got a demand from individuals that wanted to learn from me. And so what I would do is hear what people wanted to learn and then I would go create those courses. And I would only allow a significant amount of people to create those, to take those courses. Like I would only have, let's say 10 spots open and then I would shut the course down. And um, although I've sold a lot of courses over, you know, the past couple of years, I never really made that part of my business model. And so here I am in 2023 and I'm getting ready to create an arsenal of courses. And I thought to myself one day, man, it would be really great if there was a piece of software out there that would allow me to see what other courses have been successful. And my goodness, there is one. And this is the software that I'm talking about right here. This software makes it easier for you to know what type of software, uh, what type of courses, excuse me, you might want to create. It was going to show you how many students a particular course has had and an estimate of how much money has been generated by that particular course and a bunch of other things we're going to get into. So let's just imagine that, you know, I'm a plumber and I've been hearing about this online space for a while. And I've been thinking about coming out with an online course that teaches people how to, you know, become certified as a plumber. And I'm curious to know if anybody has created a course like that. And if so, how many people have purchased that course? So I'm just going to go to the search engine right here and I'm going to type in plumber and I'm just going to hit enter. The software is searching over 260,000 courses um, on multiple platforms. And nine times out of 10, the, the uh, software is pretty fast when it comes to uh, ciphering this information. And so anyway, long story short, it came back and it says that there's a total of one courses out there right as of now. Um, there's about three students for that particular course on one platform, one niche, and the average price for that course is $13.99. And they're saying that um, the opportunity score is a 58 and it's going to give you an insight on that score. It says, okay, might be onto something. Just make sure the topic is not too broad. Okay. So then I'm going to look over here at my topic search trend. And this topic search trend is a graph that shows search demand over the past 24 months. And see these results are scaled from zero to a hundred based on topic promotions and all searches on all topics. If a peak of 100 is hit, it would be most popular search term when compared to other topic. Okay. So I'm going to look at this. And so what I'm getting from here is that there's a tremendous amount of people that are searching for courses related to plumbers, but there aren't, well, this software is saying there aren't that many courses out there. Now this course or this software, excuse me, um, it says that I'm, I'm going to assume like because it's pulling from the top 24 or from the top trends within the last 24 months, I'm assuming that none of these numbers are accurate. And the reason why I say that is because let's just say that, you know, they're saying that this particular course is on Udemy. And so what I'll do is I'll go over to Udemy. And I'm just going to type in the word plumber in the search engine here. And let's just see, because in the last 24 months, there could have been other courses created for plumbers. Okay. So I'm going to look, here's a course right here. It says master plumber exam questions, practice test. Okay. This one says journeyman plumber exam practice test. They don't have any ratings. And that looks like about it. So it, 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 you know, I'm assuming that this, uh, this core, this software is pretty accurate in reference to, uh, how many people have been searching for, uh, you know, 
courses related to plumbers and also um, based on how many people have actually created courses on plumbers. So I'm not a plumber, so I'm going to look for something else. Let's just imagine that um, I'm a mother or a, or a brand new mom, right? So I might type in new mom if I want to know, you know, if I'm curious as to how should I, you know, raise the kid or whatever. I'll type in new mom. And again, this search volume is over 50 right here. 44 it says ratios are not favorable to or, or topic too broad. So, you know, these are kind of low searches here, but let's just say, let's get more general. Let's do, let's say, uh, let's do, let's do, what can I type in? Let's do, uh, I'm going to say, let's do fasting because it's right now. So that would be a good course to create something on. So I'm just going to search for fasting here and let's see what happens. Data is pulling up. 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 All right. So it's telling me that there's around 45 courses on fasting or related to fasting and that there's been a total of 79,187 students between two platforms that it's also covering three niches and the average price for these courses are $14 and 92 cents. The trend here looks like it's going down a little bit, but the opportunity score is insinuating that the demand is good. It says check your uniqueness and, and total student count in the summary card. So I'm going to go down here and see what kind of courses have been created. Here's a course right here on intermittent fat, intermittent fasting, uh, complete and practical beginners guide. And it's saying that this course is around what 93 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. And that there's been $176,000 on average created between 14,000 students that took this plat uh, that took this course. And uh, okay, right here, I guess the course has been shortened because right here it's saying that the course is around 56 minutes. And so it'll give me the sales page of the course. And it'll also give me the titles to all the videos related to that particular course. And this will give me an idea as to what I could create if I wanted to create a course on the topic of fasting. And so that's why this software is so freaking powerful. From here, I can save this course to the library and I can continue to search and get more numbers. I see here's another course that's made $189,000. Uh, between 12,611 students. That's a phenomenal opportunity in my opinion. But let's just say that I was done doing research and that now I wanted to go and look at some of the stuff that I've saved. So here's my course on intermittent fasting. And I can pull that up. I can add tags to it. So I'm just call this, <clears throat> I'm going to put a tag there for fasting. Let me hit save. And so then from here, what I can do is I can come up with a new course idea. So I can say, you know, I can go and say, okay, I can put that into a, a keyword search tool. And I'm going to use this particular keyword search tool right here called Insta Keywords. And I am going to type in fasting. And basically what I want to do is get some ideas on um, what people are searching for in reference to fasting. So now this software is doing its thing. These two softwares are not related, by the way. One's Insta Keywords and the other one I'll reveal at the end of this video. But this is going to make it easier for you to understand what type of courses you want to create for some reason that's taking a long time to load so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to go over here to questions this software was um this software this keyword software was lagging a little bit a few days ago so if it continues to lag i'll just move on oh here we go so okay here's a long tail question 
related to fasting. How does intermittent fasting work? It's getting around 18,000 searches a month. So I could just copy that. And let's just say I wanted that to be the name of my title for my um, course. I can just drop that right here. Okay, or that could be actually a module inside of my course. So I'm in my course, so I could call the course the basics of fasting, or I could say fasting for beginners. Why it feels like I can't spell or talk today. All right, so I could say fasting or uh, for beginners, right? And so that could be module number, uh, that could be the title of my actual, um, my actual course. I can go back over here to my keyword tool and then, okay, how is fasting good for you? Maybe I cover this inside of the course. So basically all I'm doing is taking questions that I know people have in relationship to fasting. And these are going to be what I create my modules around. And let's get another one. How water is, how to water fast. How to, somebody spelled that fasting. <laughs> um, let's see how to fasting. Why fasting is bad. Why fasting is good. Maybe I'll cover that in the course as well. Now, this is an example. I'm not going to create a course on fasting, of course but I'm just going to add it there just for kicks and giggles. Why fasting before blood work? There's intermittent fasting. So I might take that one. Do I have that one already? Okay. So one says, what is uh, intermittent fasting? The other one says, how does it work? How fasting is good for you? Why fasting is bad? Um, and then now, what is Ramadan fasting? What is water fasting? This might be one that I answer right here. So I'll just take all of these questions that I'm getting from my keyword tool. And this is going to make it easier for me to come up with ideas um, when creating my course. So let's just say I get, you know, 12 to 15 different topics that I want to cover uh, related to this particular course. And then I hit save right here. Show save content. So here's my content right here. So I got all my content laid out. And now if I want to go in here and summarize what each one of these topics is going to be about, I can do that right here. And then from there, I can, if I'm going to create a video course, I can just record myself talking about all of these, um, all of these modules that I'm having in my course. And so now I know that there's a high chance that if I do the right things to market my course right, and if I provide a tremendous amount of value inside of the course, this software basically just confirmed for me that it's a good idea to create a course around fasting because look at the numbers here. Even if I go down, I mean, there's people that made something. Of course, there are people that made nothing when it came out to um, creating a course around fasting. But this is essentially a digital asset that's going to sit on the World Wide Web and potentially make money for me 24 hours a day. So this particular software makes it easy for you to do that. It's called Eureka, and there's several ways to get it. Um, if you get it on, you can buy it at the lifetime um, for the lifetime deal while it's still on AppSumo. You can get it there at the current price by clicking the link below this video or you can get it for the monthly price on the official website of Eureka by clicking the other link right below this video. But it's a piece of software that I'm happy that I purchased because I'm working on a course right now and it's making it super easy for me to just pump out this course without thinking about it too much. I'm basically just following instructions and talking about a subject that I'm passionate about, but it's also a subject that has a proven financial track record that insinuates I can make some really good money by producing this course. So if you want this software that allows you to peer into it and 
here's the thing. I haven't even tapped into um, a lot of other stuff. I basically used uh, this software for course research and then also content planning. That's about it. But then they have, you know, other stuff on here as well. Like, you know, platform research, you know, I can look at, let's say, um, Udacity, or I can go and do Udemy. And then I can search for specific categories. I can hit business. And then it'll give me some ideas that I might not even think I might not even be thinking about right now, but it's going to give me all these ideas on uh, based on other courses that people have come out with related to specific categories. So this one right here has made $16 million. It's a, you know, the complete SQL bootcamp 2022 go from zero to hero. Somebody's made a lot of money from that particular course. And if I click on it right here, it'll take me to, the page on Udemy. And as you see here, it's confirmed that they have over 639,000 students that's taken this course at 29, well, at $189 a pop. But right now there's an 84% off, um, there's an 84% off uh, sale going on right now. But that's a lot of people that's taken that course. And so instead of reinventing the wheel, why not just create a course around something that you know works? And this software makes it easy to identify what type of courses are actually something that people would buy. So again, if you want to get this software at the lifetime deal, click the link below this video to make it real. And if you want to get it on the monthly plan, all you got to do is click the link, my man. It's Robbie Cornelius encouraging you to master your mind and make money online. And if you love reviews like this, make sure you let me know because I'll keep bringing them, bro. All right. Talk to you soon.